Field Guide, their four lengths, Forever Loved, followed by Sweet Idea, Wonder Catkins, Diamond Drill, the inside, and then Viadana. Maze Dream creeping into it out wide in the right place as they come to the turn. Uh, Nina rocks over on the inside when they corner in, and then Solicit Politeness and Estonian Princess into the straight. You're so good, and Girl Guide, they're the two leaders, and they're three in front now from Forever Love. Sweet Idea's under the whip. Down the outside, Catkins and Maze Dream is coming, and Nina Rock is getting up along the inside, still finishing it off and here's Solicit producing at the 200, you're so good girl guide Nina Rock and now Cat Kins is coming with Solicit, don't know where to look here, there are many chances, Maystream and Benaria is flying home, girl guide Benaria out wide on the course, Cat Kins Benaria flies the best, Benaria gets up to win, Benaria scored from a probably... And the reference here of course is to Pat Island at age 73, still rides this horse and most of his horses every morning in track work, didn't think I'd see it, Benaria winning a group one but a great result for uh, uh, Rob and Debbie Anderson have been those colours with uh, with Pat for such a long, long time, and that was their first Group One yesterday. That was a good start. Story. Well, amazing yesterday well, when um, TVN and then Channel, and Channel Seven crossed to Sam Highland for the interview, and <laughs> the interview Sam was doing a big kiss, and I thought he was going to give Benari a pash. He, <laughs> he, he was nearly off his horse. I'm big, uh, and congratulate. That's what fairy tales are about, isn't it? Well, the family stories in racing are they're varied and, and plenty and when you get a good group one result like that it's you can understand why the emotion does come to the surface. And Pat was absolutely overjoyed yesterday, still rides track work, still rides this mare, Robin Deb Anderson as you say have put in so much money. She's getting on in years now, Benaria, she's been racing for a while but you look back they had a, a nice maiden winner the other day, Ariane, go around so there's plenty to look forward to for her and the partnership just keeps going strong. What about Catkins? Um, I thought she was going moderate into yesterday. I thought she was terrific though. Yeah, it was a good run, Richie. Um, she, my first sit on her was Tuesday morning track work. She gave me a great feel. And I think um, just a touch of giving that ground yesterday with the rain we had overnight helped. Um, when I came out, I was probably just exposed a little bit soon. There was a strong pace in that race. And um, Sweet Oddie and I were fighting it out there for a while, but it, it really suited a, a strong horse from the back with, it, with a good pace there. You know the old hindsight one when you get the you see a 25 to one shot win and you go back through your form stop page and say, stop it. Now this is why it won because that was its fifth start at Flemington over the mile and its fourth win. Where were you uh, when I was doing my big six on Bruce? It was overs. Mm. Yes. No one backed it though. No. <laughs>